This is Your Happy Life, the podcast that will raise your vibration. Hi, I'm your host, Donna Berger. Join me each week as we explore ways to expand your consciousness, create a positive mindset, and activate your joy. Because the higher your vibration, the happier you'll be, and the easier it becomes to create your happy life. Shift your thoughts to shift your energy. What you think about and focus on matters because all of that has an impact on what you're creating and manifesting in your life. Welcome back to Your Happy Life. I'm Donna Berger. Hi, I'm so happy you are here. I have a fun process at the end of today's episode that I will be sharing with you. How you feel and what you think about is where your energy vibrates. You're powerful to create and manifest what you want and where it comes from. This power comes from your thoughts, your feelings, and your emotions, which become your vibrational frequency or your, you just call it your vibration, (laughs) The happier and more positive you are, the higher your vibration will be. So when you maintain this high frequency, manifesting your dreams and desires gets easier. Okay, we live in a world of duality. So that means opposite. So opposites, light and dark, happy, sad, good, bad, positive and negative. Okay, and then there are varying degrees, of course, between that. So if you think, you imagine a pole. (laughs) So imagine a pole, and at the bottom, let's say, is cold, and at the top is hot. And from the bottom to the top, there's going to be varying temperatures. Well, the same is true for, let's say, positive and negative. So negative energies are at the bottom of that pole, And they are heavy and dense and kind of once you hang out in those energies, it is a challenge to rise above. Now, when you like if you just get super depressed, wait, let's like disclaimer here. I'm not talking about like clinical depression. I'm talking about like when you get super depressed because, you know, life's not going the way you wanted or planned. You know, maybe there was a breakup or you lost your job or there was, you know, something happened. Right. And you're just really, quote unquote, bummed out. Sometimes it can kind of feel like quicksand and you just need someone to throw you a rope and just pull you out. And at a certain point in my journey, I did experience that. Um, Here's another analogy because it kind of, you might have heard this too. It kind of feels like you're just keeping your head just above the water. Those feelings are the complete opposite, the other side of the pole of the feelings that you would have if you were living your happy life. So in a previous episode, I had shared that you are a choice chooser. That means you have the power within you to choose. So the choice is yours. You can choose to be happy and positive or not. So what you think and say will determine how you feel And how you feel is important because it is the evidence of where you're vibrating. So let's say you spend your all day long, you're just thinking about and talking about how terrible life is, your life, the world, you know, just negative, negative, negative. I'm sorry to say, but like nothing is going to be getting better in your life anytime soon. So basically, you cannot live a happy life with a negative mindset, negative thoughts, negative words. So to clarify, your emotions and the way you feel can be traced back to the thoughts you're thinking. And then, of course, the words that you use to speak. And the way you feel determines where you're vibrating. So your negative emotions will highlight those things you do not want in your reality. So once you've experienced what you do not want, you are then empowered to choose to create the experiences that you do want. And you don't have to feel guilty if something angers you and you get triggered and a whole bunch of negative emotions come flooding in. I don't know if you've like ever come across people like this, but there are people that say, you know, 
that somehow they want to make that being positive is a bad thing. (laughs) I'd rather be positive every single moment of every single day because it is always about energy, vibration, and the way you feel, right? So that's my two cents. (laughs) But of course, like, let's go back to, let me go back to (laughs) reality here. That's not always possible. Because you know what? We do not live on an island. I know, I always say I love to live in my little bubble because it's happy here. (laughs) But there are other people. There are lots of other people, circumstances and situations that can trigger us. That being said, you can learn to move through those triggers. Of course, you need the right tools and then you need to practice, practice, practice. (laughs) You know, even when life seems negative, and I say seems because it's always a perspective, or things are not working out, the optimistic person in me always looks for the gifts and the lessons. Because being on this journey of personal and spiritual growth always means there's a next level. So just please don't feel bad or guilty If you fall into the low vibrating energies of anger, frustration, fear, or, you know, doubt, negative thinking, because when you shift your perspective and you go within, you will discover what triggered you and caused you to feel, you know, anger, for example. Now, the key is not to, quote unquote, park yourself in in the anger. You want to move out fairly quickly, as quickly as you can. Some days it will be easier than others. Like I said, it will take practice because these lower negative emotions cause toxic energy to form in your mind and body. And that is why it's impaired to learn how to raise your vibration. Now, when you decide that feeling good is important, you will be empowered to shift your thoughts to shift your energy. I mean, that will just, they will go, they go hand in hand. When I meet with my clients, I ask my clients, I say, tell me on a scale from one to 10, 10 being the highest, how do you feel? Actually, let's do that right now. Ask yourself, how do I feel? From one to 10, 10 being the highest, how do you feel? Because becoming consciously aware of your thoughts and feelings will help you to know where you are vibrating at. Now, there's been lots of research done on our energy fields and energy and vibrations, and there is a scale of emotions, you know, out there on the internet. I find the easiest way to discover where you are vibrating is to pay attention to how you are feeling. If you feel good, and you're like singing and dancing throughout your day, it's safe to say you probably feel happy and your vibration is high. Many years ago, I was in a pod group and we would start off each meeting by sharing the wins we had. When it was my turn to talk, I told them that I had a rough week. I was triggered and I felt awful. But the win was... I used mindset and energy tools to shift my thoughts and shift my energy. And I pulled myself up and out of those awful feelings. And I said to my group, it feels so good when I don't feel bad. (laughs) Nowadays, I pray and I pray often and I ask for guidance and help. But I also do the mindset and energy work. Because creating and manifesting, you know, they're both physical and spiritual. And what you think about and focus on brings more of what you think about and focus on into your reality. Have you ever experienced this? Let's say you want a new car. You decide what make, model, and color you want. And then you begin seeing that car on the road, in parking lots, in your neighbor's driveway. You definitely did not notice this car before, and now it seems to be popping up everywhere. Well, that is your RAS, your R-A-S, which stands for Reticular Activating System. It is a part of your brain, and the function is to filter and find what you think about and focus on so you notice it in your reality. Let me show you how this works. Okay, now first, I must say this, do not do this while you are driving a vehicle, or guess or driving anything. (laughs) Okay, hopefully you're in a room, 
All right. Are you ready to play and have some fun? Okay. I want you to look around the room you're in and look for the colors tan and brown. Search for, notice, and become aware of all the objects and things around you in your room that are tan and brown. Keep looking and looking and looking too. I'm like, oh, I got some tan boxes in here. I'm looking. You keep looking and focusing on tan and brown. Look all around the room, looking for tan and brown, tan and brown, tan and brown. Keep looking. Okay, now close your eyes and think about all the green things you saw in the room you're in now. Go ahead and open your eyes and look around the room and look for all the green things. Fascinating and fun, right? I mean, you didn't notice the green because you were so focused on the tan and brown colors. And this is what happens when you think about negative things and start, what will happen is you'll, and you focus on them and you start to notice more negative things. What you think about and focus on shows up in your reality. So it's up to you to shift your thoughts, to shift your energy. Now, do you want to continue playing this color game? Okay, so it's a lot of fun, and because it's fun, it will raise your vibration. So later today or tomorrow, choose any color you want. For example, one day you may choose the color purple, and then the next day you may pick the color pink. (laughs) You know, those are my colors. (laughs) Just pick any color you want, and then pay attention, and you will become aware of that color as you go about your day. And I would love it if you would join me in my Facebook group so we can continue to play there together. I want to stay connected and continue all this happy high five goodness over there in my Facebook community. So please come join me at Your Happy Life, Dream It, Believe It, and Create It. This is a growing community of heart-centered, conscious, faith-based, spiritual women, entrepreneurs, and moms. This truly is a fun, magical, and life-changing journey, and I am so happy you are here. Until next time, have a happy and positive day. Bye. Thanks for listening to Your Happy Life. If you enjoyed this episode, I'd be honored if you'd leave a review and share this podcast with your conscious, faith-based spiritual friends. Until next time, sending you so much love and have a happy and blessed day.